The floodwaters are gone now. The river back into its banks back there next to the tree line. But when they came through almost instantly, it covered all of these river bottoms and water. Two barns were right here, a structure there and a barn there. Those are now down to just a pile of metal. Some of the stuff inside found almost a mile downstream at this point. Then the homes. Take a look at this one over here. The water rushing through the doors. Everything inside this home is destroyed. What's left behind is a massive amount of mud. David Thompson's farm has been in his family for over 200 years. He was born here. He's lived here his whole life. Friday, the river took everything. Of course, the building's gone, the sheds is gone, everything's gone. The smokehouse is gone, all the carports, tractors, machinery, trucks, cars, house. It's all gone. There ain't nothing left. Thompson survived the Great Flood of 77, as they call it, but he says this one is far worse. This time, he says, his fields will never recover. There's sand and mud over there in alfalfa fields. That's over my head. So deep. Mark Davis was driving by Friday night and saw the river rising. He stopped to help Thompson get out. Now he's helping clean up. And this is just total devastation to this area in the Nola Chucky River Valley. And it's just indescribable of the loss that's happened here. David Thompson doesn't have flood insurance and tells me he's thankful for all of the work you see going on here to try to rebuild. But he says he'll never live here again on his family farm. There's simply nothing to come home to. I'm going to try to get a permit and everything today or tomorrow one for this house and my other house over there and get them pushed up in a pile and burn. There ain't nothing left. In Washington County, Tennessee, Preston Ayers, News 5, WCYB.